Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam. <clears throat> Question number 36, found on page 669 of Teach Yourself, Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. We have 250 ohm resistors in a 5x5 five five series parallel matrix. This is the complete diagram if we connect five sets of five series connected resistors in parallel. Got that? We could just as well connect five parallel connected sets of resistors in series. However, in this case, each series combination has five times the resistance of any individual component alone. <clears throat> And then, when we add those five in parallel, we get one-fifth of the value of any one of the series combinations. As you will remember, similar to question number 32 with capacitors, if all of the values are the same, and the matrix is symmetrical, like five by five in this case, three by three in the case of question number 32, then the net resistance R will be the same as the resistance of any individual component. Well, you might ask, why would we want to bother to do something like this? I mean, if we can just take one 250 ohm resistor, why should we bother to make a big matrix like this? Well, with resistors, there's a pretty good reason to do that sometimes. Suppose that each one of these resistors is rated at 1 watt, but we want to dissipate 20 watts of power in a 250 ohm resistor. Well, we could get a wire wound resistor that would be rated at something like 50 watts probably, and that would work just fine. But suppose that we didn't want a wire wound resistor, because the wire wound Resistors display inductive reactance. Suppose that we didn't want that inductive reactance. Well, we could take 25 carbon composition resistors, 250 ohms, one watt each, connect them in a five by five series parallel matrix like this, and when you do that in a, in a matrix that's symmetrical, with each resistor having the same wattage, you get a total power dissipation rating equal to the sum of the power dissipation ratings of all of them. So we would have, in this case, if each one of these resistors was capable of dissipating one watt of power, we would have a 25 watt, 250 ohm, carbon composition resistor, and if we bunched them up real close and kept the leads as short as possible, we'd have very little inductive reactance. You could then use that as a 20 watt uh, resistor with 5 watts to spare. That's not a whole lot of over-engineering. Uh, you might want to make a 6x6 six six matrix so that you would get a little more buffer zone there for your over-engineering because you always want to, you never want to use a resistor at its full wattage rating. You never want to stress it all the way. So anyhow, the correct answer after all of this <clears throat> detailed explanation here, the correct answer is 250 ohms which is choice C, as in Charlie.